It's Wednesday, and you know what that means. Starts with an end, ends in an ooze, it's news. That's right, I'm your host, Andrew, and this is Crypto Espresso, your teeny tiny daily shot of caffeinated crypto headlines. I don't want to be a barrier between you and crypto happenings, so let me step aside. First up, Twitter has sued Elon Musk in an attempt to force him to buy the social network. The company is accusing him of refusing to honor his obligations because the $44 billion deal no longer serves his personal interests. Lawyers also allege that Musk thinks he's free to change his mind, trash the company, disrupt its operations, destroy shareholder value, and walk away. Twitter also argues the real reason Musk wants out of the deal isn't because of spam accounts or fake users. Instead, it's all down to the stock market's correction. Rather awkwardly, some of Musk's own tweets have been submitted into evidence. It's going to be a case full of drama, with some claiming it could be one of the biggest legal fights in Wall Street's history. Grab the popcorn, folks. A new twist in the drama surrounding the bankruptcy of Three Arrows Capital. Last week, the hedge fund's liquidators had claimed that 3AC's two leaders were failing to cooperate, and their whereabouts were unknown. But now, co-founder Zhu Su has broken his silence, sharing an email written by his lawyer. Said message claims the liquidators have been baiting 3AC and allegations of a lack of cooperation are far from the truth. According to them, Zusu and Kyle Davies are having to keep a low profile because their families have received threats of physical violence. It's also claimed that both men have been working under a lot of time pressure as they respond to queries from the Monetary Authority of Singapore. It's a difficult time for crypto companies hoping to raise capital right now, but some businesses are continuing to show strength. Animoca Brands has announced that it secured another $75 million in funding. And while this is less than the $360 million raised back in January, Animoca's valuation has now gone up to $5.9 billion. Setting out its plans for the cash, the entertainment firm explained, Animoca Brands will use the new capital to continue to fund strategic acquisitions, investments, and product development, secure licenses for popular intellectual properties, and advance the open metaverse, including through its efforts to promote digital property rights for online users. <sighs> That's a mouthful. And finally, an estimated $8 million has been stolen after Uniswap liquidity providers fell for a phishing scam. The decentralized exchange says its infrastructure hasn't suffered an exploit and that it remains secure to use. Offering further details about what happened, Uniswap said that the scammer had airdropped malicious tokens to certain wallets. This subsequently directed users to a fake interface where it was claimed that these tokens could be swapped for Uni. But if unsuspecting victims ended up approving the transaction, the attacker would have the ability to redeem all of the users' Uniswap V3 LP tokens for their full underlying value. But here at Crypto Espresso, I'm only fishing for compliments. So please like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and click on that little bell icon to get buzzed whenever a new Crypto Espresso video goes live. And who could forget the other pro angler of the channel, Alex? Ask Alex in the description below for more info on our headlines or crypto in general. Alex is a great resource for all things Web3 and the metaverse, which Mark Zuckerberg keeps giving the goo goo eyes to get a room, you two! Anyway, once again, I've been your host, Andrew. These have been your headlines, and we'll see y'all tomorrow.